Today is a new low for India. An internet shutdown in the national capital. Digital India's first of its kind clamped down. Let me start from the beginning. These pictures are from Delhi. Large crowds gathered at the heart of the national capital to protest. After days of violence, the authorities had imposed prohibitory orders. They have to control the situation. Violence shouldn't be allowed. But people turned up despite these orders. Cops in riot gear detained hundreds of protesters. The demonstrations continued. What happened next was unprecedented. The government decided to shut off mobile phone services in some parts of Delhi. This has never happened before, ever. Five areas lost mobile connectivity. Phone calls were not going through. Messages weren't being delivered. There was an internet blackout in India's national capital. This is not a first for the country, though. The government has done this in other parts of India before. But never before has it happened in Delhi. The figures are revealing. In fact, India is the world leader when it comes to internet shutdowns. Did you know that? And that's not something to be proud of. According to one report, the internet in India has been shut down 95 times this year. Last year, internet was switched off 134 times in India. The world has witnessed longer internet shutdowns only in authoritarian regimes like China. Another report says India is worse than Pakistan. How about that? Pakistan had only 12 shutdowns last year. India had 134. Even Syria and Turkey did better. They only shut down the internet once. It shouldn't come as a surprise then that China is praising the internet shutdowns in India. On Wednesday, a state-run newspaper published this piece. The People's Daily headline reads, and I'm quoting, India's internet shutdown shows normal practice for sovereign countries. Essentially, China is using India's case to justify its own repressive internet censorship. The newspaper mentions a shutdown in Assam and Meghalaya. It argues that Beijing's orders to switch off the internet in Xinjiang made sense. Back in 2009, remember, China had shut down the internet in Xinjiang for 300 days. It's the same region where more than a million Muslims are believed to be detained. China is using the events in India to defend its oppression. The Indian government would certainly not like this comparison, but they firmly stand behind the new law. Here's a number for you to consider. A parliamentary committee had found that a little over 31,000 refugees will be the immediate beneficiaries of the new law. Was there really a need for such a law in a country as big as India, 130 crore people, 31,000? The government believes so. It says that lakhs and crores of people will benefit from this legislation, but it may have miscalculated the cost.